Hey, what's up, YouTube? Jeff here from the RealDealTech.com. This time, bringing you a quick comparison of the MacBook Pro Retina 13-inch version up against the Surface Pro, running 128 gigabytes on both devices, as well as i5 processors. Difference is, the MacBook Pro is running 8 gigs of RAM, and the Surface Pro is running 4 gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and take you through start time, shutdown time, standby time. I'm also going to go ahead and take you through Dreamweaver, Photoshop, FileZilla, and stock browsers. So I actually have an assistant today. She's going to help me out with uh, getting this going. So Gabby, um, as we practiced before, what I'm going to do is when I get to three, you're going to push that button so it turns on. Okay? And I'm doing the same thing on this side, guys. So one, two, three. As you can clearly see here, the winner is the Surface Pro. It did start right away. All you have to do now is go ahead and log in. So let's go ahead and log in here. Just give me a second, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put in my information so that way I can log in. And then we're going to do a quick shutdown of both devices. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one ready right here. All right, Gabby, same thing. When I get to three, you're going to go ahead and hit enter, okay? So one, two, three. As you can see, the winner here this time, again, is the Surface Pro. It did shut down right away, but not far behind was the MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and turn them both back on. Same thing, Gabby, just turn it on, no worries. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through the startup time as well as uh, shutdown time on programs like Dreamweaver and Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here on the Surface Pro. And then the uh, MacBooks are already open. All right. So, Gabby, let's go ahead. At the count of three, same thing. You're going to want to click Photoshop. One, two, three. As you can see here, this time, the winner is the MacBook Pro. It did open Photoshop a lot faster, but not far behind came the Surface Pro. So, let's go ahead and get ready to shut them down. Same thing. You want to go ahead... And you're going to click at the count of three. Uh-oh, you did a little too soon. Go ahead, open it back up again. Okay, open it. All right, count of three. You're going to close it out. One, two, three. All right, so they're about equal. Um, this one, actually, to shut it totally down, you got to quit it right there. All right, let's try Dreamweaver now. So, Gabby, if you want to help me out one more time here. All right, at the count of three, we're going to go ahead and click it. So, one, two, three. Again, the winner here this time is the MacBook Pro. It did open up quicker, but not far behind was the Surface Pro. So let's go ahead and shut these down now. So if you want to go ahead and uh, close that one. Kind of three. One, two, three. All right, they're about equal there. All right, Gabby, you want to help me out here? At the count of three, bring it down to Safari. You're going to click it. So one, two, three. Again, the uh, winner here is the MacBook Pro Retina. It does open up Safari a lot quicker. Let's go ahead and close it out. You know what? It's not that much of a difference. I'll just shut it down. So, All right, guys. Now on to FileZilla here. Uh, again, Gabby, at the count of three. So one, two, three. And again, it seems like the programs are opening a lot faster on the MacBook Pro. So there you have it. Let's do a quick shutdown. Gabby, if you want to just close it out. Or you know what? Let's see here. We don't really have to, but uh, let's move on to the next. All right, guys, the last step here, I'm just going to take you through the standby. I'm going to put this on standby there. I'm going to close the uh, MacBook Pro, Gabby. At the same time, when I push this button, you're going to go ahead and open up the MacBook. So you lift it up. So here we go. One, two, three. Go ahead and open it. So they're about equal as far as uh, coming back from standby, even though Gabby opened it a little bit slower. Uh, but as you can see there, they're very comparable. Um, they do have their good and their bad. Uh, choice is pretty much up to you guys. It was just a quick comparison so you guys can see uh, how they both compare side by side since I did get some uh, 
bad votes on the uh, MacBook Air. I should have put it side by side with the uh, Surface Pro. Either way, guys, don't forget to comment. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I will definitely answer them as quick as I can. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.